Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has declared a three-month state of emergency following last Friday's failed coup attempt. Speaking at the presidential palace in Ankara, he said that all the viruses within the armed forces will be cleansed. The investigation into last week's attempted takeover is continuing. Around 60,000 people have been detained or suspended, including more than 20,000 staff, the Ministry of Education. Uh, the members of the National Security Council came together, did intensive uh, and uh, comprehensive assessments, and we decided to recommend to the government that a state of emergency be declared as per Article 120 of our Constitution in order for us to be able to speedily and swiftly deal with all of the elements of the terrorist organization. And the Council of Ministers also abided by that recommendation and decided to declare a state of emergency for a duration of three months. As it is known, Article 120 of our Constitution allows for a state of emergency to be declared in the event of acts of violence that aim to abolish democracy and cripple fundamental rights and freedoms. The purpose of the declaration of the state of emergency is, in fact, to be able to take the most efficient steps in order to remove this threat as soon as possible, which is a threat to democracy, to the rule of law, and to the rights and freedoms of our citizens in our country. This practice is absolutely not against democracy, the rule of law, and freedoms. Quite on the contrary, it has the purpose of strengthening and protecting these values. The armed forces remain under the instructions of the government and they will act in unison with the government. And as per the provision of our constitution, as the president elected to office by this nation as the Commander-in-Chief, I will also attend to it so that all of the viruses within the armed forces will be cleansed in other institutions, the Turkish National Police and others. As you have been observing, the cleansing is continuing and we will remain very determined in cleaning all of these institutions from these elements because it is very similar to a cancer virus. It is like a metastasis that's going on in the body that is Turkey, that is this nation, and we will clean it out so that the nation will continue to live in peace and tranquility and will remain hopeful of their future. I would like to remind this to my people, to my nation. Do not have any concerns. There is no reason to have any concerns. Turkey has overcome this challenge and Turkey will continue, will come out of it as a stronger nation by investing more.